And I'm assuming not just repeatability, but you get good strength in the actual holding of the component as well. It's a very uh, strong hold, as you say. It's high force, and which gives you that high precision, high repeatability. Welcome to another MTD Technical Corner. Now today we're gonna to be talking with Henry, who's been kind enough to come down uh, from the Zimmer Group and bring us some lovely components here. Uh, but first of all, Henry, for those who don't know, who are the Zimmer Group? Zimmer Group is a manufacturer. We do a lot of components for automation to help with your production line. Okay, components for automation. You've brought three components here. Yes. Um, but do you have, is there a bigger range available? Zimmer, we have a huge range of products from end of arm tooling, so on your robotics, to linear clamps, to industrial shock absorbers, as well as the zero points and the pallet changes I've brought here with me today. And I've been told that quite a lot of automation design engineers will know Zimmer really well. Um, kind of historically, you've got a lot of patents. You were the first to design linear clamps. You've got a really storied history in automation. Um, and zero point fits perfectly well into that automation story. Um, but what is zero point? That's the stuff we've got here. Why would you use it? So zero point that we're looking at is this unit here. So the idea is if you're in a machine, you want to have the same position, be able to get back to the same position repeatably, accurately, every single time. Okay, so good repeatability and accuracy. Um, but exactly how does it work and what would be the applications of it? So the idea would be you would have a pallet which you might have a chuck or a blank on top of that you're looking to machine. The idea is you screw a peg onto the bottom of it, place it into one of these chucks internally, uh, or the zero points inside your machine, and it will always find, it's a known location, you will be able to zero off of that every single time. And I'm assuming not just repeatability, but you get good strength in the actual holding of the component as well. It's a very a uh, stronghold, as you say, it's high force and which gives you that high precision, high repeatability. And I'm assuming, are they, are they hydraulic, pneumatic, manually uh, operated? These ones are pneumatically operated, so they're normally closed and air on to open. Okay, and is it just for machining? You mentioned a blank view on it to machine, mm -hmm. but are there other applications as well? Well, as I said, you can go put them inside your CMM machines as well. We've done ones inside wind tunnels for repeat testing, and not just that, but anyone who's looking on production, it's a very quick changeover to use them. Absolutely, quick changeover is always what people want when they've got different kinds of jobs. Um, now we've talked about the zero point kind of pallet, pallet mm -hmm. there. Um, this block here, it's got a zero point, a, big, a bit much bigger zero point um, hole in here. Is this also the same kind of pallet you clamp onto a machine bed? Not quite the same, no. So the idea is, as I said before, we are end of arm tooling ex experts, so we work out with robots. This one here, it reaches, it will go on to the end of your robot on the wrist. And the idea is you'll clamp this onto a pallet. You'll have a tree of those or an array of them. They'll come in, pick one of those up, position it into, into your machine or wherever your bed is, and then come away. So it gives you that quick flexibility to load up a load of samples that you'll need to machine or need to use and then change in. So is it an alternative to gripping? Not quite, because with gripping, you would be looking to have a very repeatable position, um, the same kind of components each time. This will give you a lot of flexibility so you can have a multitude of different unique components all gripped at the same time with the robot not having to change what you're doing. Perfect, so for the automation engineers out there who, for Zimmer, they think linear clamps, they think, uh, linear damping, also end effectors, but now zero point as well. If um, the engineers out there are more interested in, in the rest of the components available from the Zimmer Group, how do they find out? Please, if you have come onto our website, you can see our virtual showroom where you'll see all of our components and a huge example of some of our bespoke end of arm tooling that we've done, over 8,000 to date. Mm -hmm.